here with Josie Pels after a national runner up in the, the pole vault. Uh, a, a really good battle with a, a competitor from British Columbia today. Uh, what, what was kind of going through your head on those those final vaults? I know that I think it was 3.85 meters uh, you got on your last attempt, but what were some of the thoughts that you had in, in those moments? Um, I just, in moments like those, I just thank the Lord for a competitive spirit and uh, for Coach Barry and just all that he's done for me and how he's able to support me and, and fire me up in the moments that count. Um, it just was great competition. I mean, and so fun. And um, Sonia was a phenomenal competitor. I mean, I really admire her a lot. So it was a lot of fun. And yeah, mm -hmm. I would say that's about how, how we're proud of her. <laughs> I was very proud of how I handled some stressful, stressful attempts. Yeah. So yeah, that was the highlight of the day. What what did you make of this whole experience? Different from Gulf Shores the the last couple years, um, but uh, how did you? acclimate to this different uh, environment mm -hmm. it's definitely different not as humid and blazing hot um, and we just had beautiful weather I mean we had a tailwind um, this is a beautiful facility so um, I mean they did a great job putting it on and I'm excited to hopefully come back here next year and see how they do it the second time around so yeah how do you put into words what what this group has accomplished this year I know both indoor and outdoor, a, a ton of points at the conference level, and yes. then uh, uh, qualifying a lot for indoor and outdoor nationals as well. Mm -hmm. I just adore, I might get teary-eyed, I adore the people that I get to jump with. I mean, they make the experience so valuable, and I love them to death, and I'm so proud of how far they've come this year, and um, I am proud that I get to compete alongside of them at things like conference where we just get a rake in the points and I can't wait to uh, see how the youngins grow and I've been so grateful for all the time with Aaron Mapson so mm -hmm. yes that's about what I think about my teammates. <laughs> right right but the end unfortunately the end of Aaron's career but a, a, a good time with her and um, for you like you said you get one more year. What, what else is next for you? I, I think maybe some student teaching, but yes. you'll be around Concordia for one more year. Absolutely, I will. I'm super excited. I think it'll be an exciting adjustment of priorities with student teaching coming into play in the fall, but then once that's over, my stress will decrease significantly, and I am just so excited to have one more, one more round of both indoor and outdoor, so I cannot wait. I'm so excited.